it might be soon time for a haircut. This is getting a little out of control. Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. My name is Danielle, just in case you didn't know, now you do. Um, hi to all of the new people hanging around here in the last month. It's really great to see you. Uh, today we're going to talk about plus size jewelry and specifically how to make a necklace longer for your chunky neck. Uh, now, I do have a special, like, product shout-out, I guess. Um, that's what I would call it. Unboxing, maybe? So, this company reached out to me and asked if they could send me something. I could pick whatever I wanted off of their website. They gave me no limits, which was great. Um, I did not abuse that power, don't worry. Um, I decided to pick out one of their personalized necklaces because all of their necklaces that are personalized allow you to choose the chain length um, as well as some other features on different ones. So I'm going to show you what I picked out. The product is a necklace from Julia Jewelry. They are premium artisan jewelry. Everything is sort of made to order when you're ordering a personalized item. Um, so this is the cute little box it comes in. Everything's well protected, but it's all recyclable things inside. There's no like packing peanuts. There's no unnecessary plastic, which I think is great. Um, they do emphasize being more eco-friendly because they're not wasting materials they're, as they're they're making things as you order them so they're not dealing with a lot of overstock and things like that so inside the box it comes very neatly packaged everything is well planned out and I like that a lot so you get a little um little card it says thank you for your purchase on one side and then it tells you about their rewards program there is a little baby catalog which is beautiful and just makes you want even more of their stuff then uh, there is a little bit of returns information there is a greeting card that you can fill out if this is a gift for somebody there is a polishing cloth all wrapped up in here and then there is a little gift bag. So if you are giving this as a gift, they've given you a little gift bag that you can put it in. So you're not giving this box full of stuff. You can put the jewelry item right in here. And then in here, see there's just a cardboard insert in here. There's no extra plastic or anything. I didn't take anything out. That's exactly what came with it. Then in here, we have the actual jewelry item. So I chose to get this little um, Cancer Zodiac symbol uh, necklace. It is, I believe, a 20 or 22 inch length necklace. It also has an extender on the back. I don't want to take it all the way out because we don't really need it, but it does have an extender. As you can see if my... There you go. My camera actually focused on that. And then, I'm not sure if it'll focus again for us. There you go. It has my little cancer symbol. It's super small and delicate. This sits right about here for me, which is exactly where I wanted it to hit when I was choosing this. So I know my measurements pretty well when I'm picking out jewelry. And for shopping online, I recommend if you want something to fit you a certain way that you measure it out because you can never go off of the pictures they provide because those pictures are of skinny people and they're measuring based on how small that person that neck is and so you're it's never going to be exactly the same so you really do need to measure if it says it's 22 inches you know take a string that is 22 inches and see where that sits on you so that you know where things are going to hang because if you want something to be you know here 
but you're getting an 18 inch chain for me that sits up here and it's not gonna fit the same way if you're not paying attention to those things um, but just in case you have a necklace that maybe is too short for you or something like that um, or you just want to make it a little longer for your own comfort or for style I'm gonna show you how you can easily easily change uh, it so that it's a little longer okay all you have to do is add a little bit of chain so this is a necklace I got from the Fab Fit Fun box and I've never worn it because it's just a little too short where it kind of chokes me a little now it's not a little too short so what I did was I over here at the end of the extender I added a piece of chain now I would have used a more delicate chain that matched but I don't have any on hand and it seems kind of wasteful to buy a lot of chain for such a small piece. So you can get from Michael's necklace extender packs where um, it is a delicate piece of chain and a little like bobbly thing on the end. And you can add them to the already existing extender if you want. Uh, but this was pretty simple. I just took my pliers like this and there is a little like you know where they've pinched the thing together you just open it and then you hook on the end here this little loop just hook that on and attach it and then over here this is the clasp that it just hooks back on there no big deal easy peasy lemon squeezy there we go all done and now you have a necklace that is a couple inches longer with pretty much no effort I well I had this chain already and I already had the pliers but you can use whatever basic pliers you have on hand or if you have strong fingers or strong fingernails you can do that it totally works you don't have to worry about buying all kinds of fancy tools these are just things I already have you can use like pliers from your toolbox not a big deal um what I would say though is that you definitely want to get chain that sort of matches the size and weight of the necklace you're going to be wearing that one's quite large for that particular necklace but you can get super fine chain or just like cheap chain that is meant to be an extender that'll be easy to hook um, which is important because you don't want to not be able to actually like close it when you're all done so yes now uh, necklaces are not the only thing that we struggle with as fat people to buy and um I love wearing rings and I struggle a lot with finding places just like regular places to buy rings from so and what I've started doing is when I come across a place that I really want a ring from uh, and I see you know I go on I look at the ring I make sure they don't like I make sure and see if they make my size and if they don't what I do is I send them a message or I comment on their Instagram or something like I would really like to buy this um, except you don't make it in my size and it seems kind of limiting for you to stop at a size 9 or whatever size you stop at I've seen some places where they only make size 6 7 and 8 of rings and like what are your little stick fingers like who are all these people that you're buying rings from you anyway so I send them a message because if you don't tell people that you want something from them they're never gonna know so now they're aware that there's a demand out there and then I move on to a different company um so Julia actually has rings up to a size 13 I think let me just check on my phone I'm looking at one called B design sterling silver ring and I want to select the size so you can get a ring as small as size 3 or all the way up to a size 15 how cool is that so if you have a super chunky finger or maybe you want it to be a thumb ring and that's just bigger than like a 10 or something you can actually get it in your size which I think is amazing a lot of companies don't do that and yes this will cost you 20 extra dollars honestly it's probably worth it to have a ring that fits you than one that you just like jam on or you never wear because it doesn't fit right which is always disappointing they also offer bracelets that have like you know the little toggle clasp so that means that it's not a bangle where you have to then like 
dislocate your hand to get it through the this seems kind of obscene to make this gesture but um, where you have to like squish your hand to fit through the ring well if they don't make it for a bigger wrist it's not gonna fit so with the toggle clasp type bracelets you can very easily fit your hand in there because they have more give and they're much more flexible um, I buy those types of bracelets all the time. If I do want bangles, I go to a plus size store. So Torrid sometimes has bracelets. Pennington's has bracelets that I like a lot. Um, I don't buy necklaces there because I find them to be really ugly, but that's just my taste. Um, yeah, the only thing you don't really have to worry about as a plus size person is maybe earrings. However, if you've got a short neck like me, you definitely want to take into account, you know, if you don't want things brushing your shoulder or getting caught, then you'll want something that's maybe a little shorter. But that's totally up to you on your preferences. So, yeah, there are tons of places to or tons of ways to sort of life hack your way through getting jewelry that fits a plus size body. Um, I just wish more places took into consideration that bodies are not all the same and that we want to wear nice things too. I want to wear nice jewelry. I want to own things that are beautiful. You know, I it's all well and good that I can contact my maker friends and say, hey, I'd really like that necklace, but can I get it, you know, two inches longer? And yes, they're more than happy to make it longer for me, but that doesn't work globally for everybody. You don't have maker friends necessarily. I can easily do that because I am friends with those people, but I can't just, you know, call out, you know, a random company and be like, hey, I love that necklace. Can you make it two inches longer for me and then I'll buy it? And they're like, yeah, sure, we'll make you one necklace. That's not how it works. So it's really nice that um, I know that if I want a necklace or a nice ring or something like that, I can go to companies like Julia and get that thing made for me or, you know get something that I really like and will last me a long time because it, it is quality. They do make things with gold and silver and, um, you know, you can even get like engagement rings that are $2,000 on there, which I think is amazing because you can customize it completely to like engravings, the size, the stones, you can pick everything, even the metals. So you can get up to like 18 karat white gold. Um, they have rose gold, silver, uh, yellow gold. The sky is the limit with uh, what they've got, so I'm really interested and I'm hoping to be able to shop with them more, so uh, I just want to say thank you to Julia for actually sending me that necklace because I am really excited to wear it. To be honest, I've looked at those types of necklaces before and they're usually in places like H&M or Forever 21 and none of that stuff fits my neck. It's always too short, so to be able to buy a necklace with out really thinking about it and just know that it's gonna fit because I picked out the chain length myself it makes me so happy and this is not an ad for Julia they just sent me the thing and you know I'm not obligated to like sell it to you just as a heads up like I just really think it's a great idea it's genius on their part um, and this coincided really well with a type of video that you guys requested. If you um, want to check Julia out, they're linked in the description as well as a link directly to the necklace that I picked out. Alright everybody, that is all I have for you today. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate you hanging out with me. If you have not joined my Patreon already, uh, please if you would like to join. Uh, all of the Maketober prompts have already been released there. Uh, so if you want to get them early, sign up for Patreon. Also, I've posted my first podcast over there. There's exclusive video content. You kind of get an direct access to me where you can ask me questions and you know, all that thing, all those things. Um, thanks so much for watching and I will see you guys soon. Bye!